All right, let's talk about food costs today. Everybody in the restaurant space just dreads the fact that they have a 30% food cost. But in a typical business, 30% cost of goods sold, it's actually really good. So stop trying to save money on your food cost going from 30% to 28% or to 25%. It just doesn't make sense. Your core product is your food cost. So why would you want to try to cut as much cost as you can to a point that now you're deteriorating your core product and now you're providing an uh, inferior product to your customers. You shouldn't be focusing on the food cost. You should be focusing on top line revenue. If you increase your revenues from $650,000 a year to a million dollars a year, guess what? It doesn't matter if your food cost is 30% or if it's 33%. In fact, you can afford to take an increase on your food cost, deliver a better quality food to your customers and still make more money. And by the way, when you increase that top line revenue, you automatically have less waste because you're selling more food. They don't go bad. They don't spoil, etc. So your food cost actually does go down because again, you're selling more, but you can also absorb the fluctuation of food cost when you are making more money. You don't have to pass that cost to the customer through cost increase or worse yet, send that to the bottom line and go back to the thin margin problem. Why? Because you're not making enough money. So simply by solving your top line revenue, you're going to automatically resolve and solve your food cost. So you don't have to worry if your food cost is 30%, 28% or 33%. Anywhere in that range, you're perfectly fine.